Okay, so let's go ahead and create a trend shop. You'll want to go to your shop.com site. Make sure it has your name in there. It will ask you to log in as well. There's two ways to access your trend shops. You can click this site here, which is what I usually do, and then click trends. That is your simplest way. Another way to, oh, we actually have to X out of that. You can click your name and your account or my account. And then over here, you can find your trends as well. Either way is totally fine. Again, it will ask you to log in. I've already logged myself in. Then here at the top, we're gonna click create a trend. It's pretty simple. The directions are listed here for you in case you forget. Uh, you're gonna give your trend a name. So we're gonna tell, call this test. You're gonna drag items from over here, your library, describe your trend if you want to. I don't always describe it. I don't tag it and then I do publish it. So here, let's say we wanna do some digestive enzymes, click that, it'll populate. And then you can click and drag or click and drag, whichever one you want. If I decided I want this uh, packets for samples and a better price point for my first order maybe, click this one. I can go up here to this uh, remove button and just take that right off. Uh, let's say I want some tea. I know that we have a lot of teas to choose from. Our exclusive teas will pop up first and then other partner stores and their teas, Chinese culture. So you can see some different teas here listed. So I like the balanced belly. So I'm gonna drag that. I can click this. If I click off, I have to click it and then I can move it. I can make it larger. I can make it smaller, however you'd like that to appear. Usually uh, I have three to five, sometimes a lot of products in here. It depends on the purpose of my trend shop. Uh, why this is so great is because if you have two or more products, instead of sending your customer three, four, five different links, you send them one link and all of their products are here. So maybe this one looks like we're you know, supporting gut health here. Uh, you can also, to make it just a little bit prettier, and you don't have to, I don't always add a cover photo. Why a cover photo is nice here is if you're posting on social media or, um, you know, just in a platform where, where they will see the cover photo, it looks a little better than scattered products all over. So up here, you can pick stock images and type in belly see what comes up. I have no idea. Okay. Um, you can also upload your own uh, in which, okay, so here's a nice one. You can just upload your own from your files. You can uh, Google something previous and have it saved on your desktop and then upload it. In any event, you're going to have your photos here. Again, you'll just drag it over and then I'm going to stretch it out and see how I overstretch that and just line that up. Then save it if you want to have a nice cover, you can. Uh, okay, so I saved that work. And also, if I want to add a description down here, I can type in digestive enzymes are my favorite, always keep a packet in your purse, or the belly tea is great. I know you mentioned bloating, etc. So you don't need to necessarily put a description of the product here, because they will uh, have access to that once they click on the link. So sometimes I type in you know, to help the customer make a decision here or why I added something, but I don't always put a description because a lot of the times I'm sending them some information that they're already aware of. At this point, we will go ahead and publish the event, the trend rather, and view the trend. And then last thing we'll do is grab your trend link. So see how this has a nice picture and then all the products, whether it's three, four or 10 products would be listed down here and they can click on all of them. Uh, when you are ready to share your link uh, for this trend shop, you want to go to the bottom of the page. See in the middle, it says Coach Patrick. That's my URL. If I grab it from up here, up top, my URL is not there. So you always want to grab links from the bottom of your page. I can copy that. And let me show you one more thing. We can make a Bitly link with this. So if you don't have an account on Bitly, See, here's the thing. If you're going to share this link, this link goes on and on and on almost forever. Um, that's a really long link to send. If you're hyperlinking an email, totally cool. But maybe you want to post on social media or send in a text message or a Facebook message. So I would just create a Bitly account. You click create. It is free. Paste. Um, that's not it. I must have not grabbed this link here. So let me control C for copy go back over to bit.ly. I'm going to paste my link there. And then I would create, click create. I don't want to click it because this is only a test. So I don't, um, 
I won't want to delete this off my bit.ly. So you can create it and then use the URL that they give you, or you can even customize that URL. So I hope that was helpful.